This is a tutorial on using the Refine Edge tool. It is a standalone tool that allows for masking, and it's also considered an advanced selection tool. It's a really good tool to use when you're using um, something that has kind of a fuzzy or furry or um, hairy edge to it. Um, obviously this sunflower would not be the best example. I'm going to use this as my backdrop and I'm going to make my selection on a file which is called uh, it's going to be of a cat. Not that cat though. Different cat. That's why it helps to be specific when you're naming your files. And the reason we want to use um, the refined edge tool instead of the selection tool is with these kind of bristly little outlines, it's almost impossible to get all of that information and all of those pixels when using a selection tool. It's next to impossible. So to get to the selection tool um, for the refined edge tool, you can go to um, any of your selection tools or you can go under select and choose refine edge. Okay, so I'll go back one step though so you can see what it would be like um, if you pick it from over here. So if I choose, let's say, um, the lasso tool and then I click refine edge, it will bring me to this split screen that you can see here. And this is essentially two separate artboards. Um, what you do to this artboard on the left affects what you see on the artboard in the right. And the key things we will be working with in this is this white, the gray, and the black. The white is to reveal, and the black is to hide. And the gray is to select any of the areas that you're kind of unsure of. And I will show you what that means rather than tell you, but these are the three main things we're going to focus on. So I'm just going to select the white, and then over here where it says 184 and there's a little circle, that is the icon for our brush. That determines the size of the brush, how many pixels it's going to cover, and this hardness um, determines how um, soft or how hard the uh, brush is going to affect. And these are some of the other options for brush styles, but we'll stick with the default. You guys can play with that depending on the project that you're working on. So I'm going to start with a medium size brush. And another way to change the size of your brush is if you adjust the size with the mouse, you can hit the little bracket keys and the right bracket will make it larger, like so. I'm just clicking that right bracket key and the left bracket key will make it smaller. It's a great shortcut. So I'm just gonna use a medium sized brush and with the white, I can start to reveal my object. Okay, so the white is good for covering these big major areas and I might readjust the size just to get into these tighter little spaces. I'm not really going to worry about the edge so much because that's what that gray area is for. We'll start working with that gray area now. So I will select gray and then I will lower the size of my brush and obviously you can do it here and you can change up how hard it's going to be. I want to go with like a maybe halfway and then I go into my artboard and I'm going to just zoom in a little bit on the board itself. Normally hitting that that plus button helps zoom in, but for some reason it's, there we go, now it's working. Okay, so I'm back to my brush that still seems a little bit larger than I'd want. 
So I just hit that um, left bracket to make it smaller. And I'm just gonna go over those edges. Where the bristles are. This might look a little bit funky. Um, it's harder to tell if it's like registering when there's this like transparent background, but when you put the object against a new background that has like a darker um, or more um, busy full of objects, full of color sort of background. Um, you can see this fuzzy edge showing up more. See? So it has a little bit more of like a, a halo effect around it than just being like a really unnatural cut. Okay. So if I was satisfied with what I've done, I would go under OK to um, save it. But, but before I do that, let me show you if I did something like while I was working with my uh, refined edge tool and I like screwed up and glitched out, it would show up reflected over there on the right and I would be like, no, I screwed it up. Easily fixed. So you just take your brush, grab the black, and then you can essentially just erase that reveal you made. This computer is a little slow, so it takes a second. Then you can keep uh, using that as an eraser until it's all gone. Simple enough. So then if I wanted to save it, um, you have a couple options. It can be a raster mask or a selection. I think the fastest and easiest way that requires a few steps is to just hit new layer and then you click OK. And then you can see this is your background and this is your selection and I'm just going to take it and drag it into my new project or where I wanted it to go and it's now in front of that sunflower with this nice kind of I mean I did a really sloppy job you'll do a better job but this is just for an example you can see these like nice clear edges of fur that you wouldn't really have if you were just using a select tool okay and you can also um, do a copy paste for this one so I can see that my bounding box is around it and I hit command C and I go over here and I hit command B just kidding, what went wrong? I clicked it and I said command A, then command C, then command B. That way it pastes. So you gotta hit command A in some cases. And now I have two layers with two different cats that I can move around and play with, but they both have this nice refined edge tool.